guys, today we're going to talk about cluster sampling. So a great example of this is that sunflower field that we um, have talked about in previous examples. So if you recall, we assume that there are 10,000 sunflowers in that field. Um, we want to only sample 200 of them, and we want to measure the heights to see on average how tall they are. Something that might be a great deal of convenience here is a cluster sample. So what we would do is this is once again a grid um, of the plots of sunflowers and in each square here we're saying there's a hundred sunflowers so there's a hundred plots um, there's a hundred in each so that would give us our population of 10,000 sunflowers. Now if we only want 200 of them to measure and not measure all 10,000 which is our population we can um, cluster sample. And so a cluster sample here is each square will be considered a cluster, but instead of numbering um, the sunflowers in each cluster, we're going to give each cluster a number. So I'm going to start numbering them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way down to our last cluster, which is cluster 100. If we only need a sample of 200 sunflowers, then we can pick two clusters to sample instead of, whereas in stratified sampling, we have to go to each cluster and take some of, or each of those. Um, so we're going to take the entire cluster and measure all of the sunflowers in that cluster. So if I had, ran, if I got randomly, um, let's just say I got number 98 and I got number 6. So cluster 6 is here, cluster 98 would be here. That means I'm going to take the 100 sunflowers from this plot and the 100 sunflowers from this plot and measure them all to make my um, 200 size sample, which is what I wanted. 